Hey gang, how are you all? Hope everybody is well. Welcome to week 10, task 2! High five! Good to see you all gang, hope you're all very well. So, are we all ready? Very, very good. So, before we start, just straight off the bat, you might want to pause me straight away, just so we check to make sure we have all of our bits. We're looking for week 10, task 2. Week 10, task 2, so you're going to get that one out of your bag. And the other thing you're going to need is one of your paper plates. So just one. Just make sure you look very carefully at the side that you don't end up picking up two. So we're going to need a paper plate and your week 10, task 2 bag. Wonderful. Good. So go grab that gang. And I will... Um, uh, I'm going to carry on. Pause me if you need to, if you haven't managed to get the plate and you put your bag away and it's going all crazy. Pause me if you've got everything. Let's go. So, put your plate to one side for a moment and let's have a look in the bag. So, uh, we'll have some glue in there. Uh, if you've got, you also remember, we've had, you'll probably have some leftover glue from uh, the task we've just done, week 10, task 1. Uh, if you've come straight from that and you've got glue on your paper like I do, uh, then you can use that. That's fine. Just put this bag to one side just in case you need some extra. Um, uh, and then we should also have, let's go through this uh, bitty one, this one today. So we're going to have one of these big triangles, big triangle. Now this is a red one, but some of you may also have a blue one or even a yellow one maybe. So there's a couple of different colors. Um, but you'll need one big triangle. I'm going to use the blue one, I think. Uh, I'm going to put the red one to one side. Um, uh, you'll have in here some feathers, some little feathers. Put the roll to one side. Uh, you're going to have a two white circles. Lots of bits in this one. Very tempted to tip it all out. Uh, we are going to have a little mouth, red or an orange or possibly even a yellow mouth. There's my second white circle. Um, we will also have, I'm going to just tip it out this time. Uh, in fact, I'm not. I'm going to rip this bag open. Because as you will have already seen in here, there are lots of pom-poms. So we've got some pom-poms. I'm just going to rip this one open. I will look at it like this. Gonna shoot, get some of those out of the way. Uh, you're going to have some googly eyes, which have already fallen out. So you're going to have one, two googly eyes. If you guys have a few extras, that's all right. Don't worry about it. Sometimes we throw those in. Um, and then you'll also have some of these little circles. So you're going to have some little purple discs and some little yellow ones. So you should have three or four of each of those. And then obviously you've got some pom-poms. So, uh, I am going to contain my pom-poms in my little brown bag there, and I'm just going to put them out of the way. Clearly, you guys, you're a little people, are going to be going all over the place with them. So, uh, if you want to, you can, for the moment, you can just fold that bag back up, or put them into a little bowl or something like that. Completely up to you guys. Um, so, first job, right? We already got some, hopefully you guys have some glue out. If you haven't got some glue out already, pause me. And just get your little bags, cut the end off as always, and just squirt some glue out on a on the on a brown paper bag or a surface that you're going to work on. Uh, and we will carry straight on. So as I think I've already said, as we go through this, I'm going to be going through it in real time for me, uh, which might be a little bit fast for you guys and your little fingers. So just pause, take your time. There's no rush. Take your time with it. Um, and uh, we will get through it and it will all be fantabulous. So, first job, we're going to get the big triangle. Okay, we're going to get the big triangle. Now, this one is blue one. You guys might have a red one or a yellow one or an orange one. Okay, it doesn't matter what color it is. Okay, I'm going to put it down on the table. Um, mine is pointing, the pointy side is pointing towards me because I just wanted to be, the, you guys to be able to see it. So, I, I'm, I'm going to. Then, all we're going to do is find all of these little circles. So the little yellow and purple circles. So I've got three yellow and three purple. Now, if you guys want to, you can count them out. One, two, three yellow. And one, two, three purple. Very good. Three 
3, add 3 is 6. Very good. Now, all we're going to do with these, it's really simple, is we're going to get our glue stick, and we're going to get one of our circles, and we're just going to put a little dollop of glue on one. So it does, the whole thing doesn't have to be covered. I'm just putting a little dollop on. And then anywhere in my blue triangle, it doesn't matter which side you put it on, but we're going to put them all on one side, but it doesn't matter which side. And we're just going to give it a tap, 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 tap down. And we're going to do the exact same with the next one. And you put them on in any pattern you want. It doesn't matter. You can put them in a row. I'm going to scatter on them all over the place. So I'm just taking a little the stick, a little scoop, spread it onto a little circle. Again, I'm not putting it on, covering the whole thing. I'm just putting a dollop in the middle. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get you guys a shot. You can see that a bit better. I'll use the purple one. It's going to be much easier to see. So I'm just literally putting a little dollop in the middle like that. It's not. I haven't covered the whole thing because when we put it down on the page and we push it in a little bit, then it will spread out underneath it so we don't have to worry about putting it. And I'm just going to put that in there. Tap, tap, tap them down. And what's good about these is you can move them around. If you go, oh, I don't like it there, you don't have to move it. It's fine. It's all good. And the last one, I am going to put another little dollop on there. Now, before I put this one straight down, the other technique you can use is your pick, dip, and stick technique. Okay? So you can just pick up the circle, dip it in your glue, and just stick it straight down. They all work because we're all we're using our little fingers. So what tends to happen is for our slightly old, you guys who are slightly bigger, slightly older, um, you may be much more comfortable with holding it and then using a spatula or the stick to spread the glue on. So you're using bilateral coordination, your two hands to do the job. For slightly younger ones, uh, it can be a little bit trickier to coordinate and so you can do the pick, dip, and stick. And for even smaller people, if we need to, big people, you can just put glue all over the all over the uh, the triangle and just stick them down like that. Okay, so none of those techniques are wrong. They're all just you have to just tweak it to what works for you. Okay, so all of them work and all of them are good. And what we'll end up with is something. The yellow ones are a little bit tricky to see just because of my lights. I'll move it down there. Uh, as you can see, there's no real pattern to it. They're just kind of blobbed in there. Beautiful. Right, so this one, just for a second, can go to one side. Now, if you need to pause me, pause me. Right, next, are we ready? We're going to get our paper plate. Now, we're going to be having it plate side up. Okay, so the side you would eat off is going to be pointing up. All right, that's our working side. It's the up side. Um, and obviously, because it's a circle, there's no top, bottom left or right at the moment. So all I want you to do is get your glue and on a stick, do a nice big scoop, and somewhere, whatever suits you, around the bumpy edge, we're gonna pop some glue on, okay? Now, we only need the space on the bumpy side that's as wide as the triangle, okay? If you go a bit wider, it doesn't matter, but that's all we need. So we're just all along the bumpy edge. I'm going to show you guys, don't worry. Always tricky. I'm going to stand up on this one. So as you can see there, I've done it. I'm holding it at the bottom, but it's going to be the top. So just on that bumpy edge, just from, I'm going to mark it with my pen. From there, you guys don't need to mark it. I've just done from about there, from those two marks here. So from this mark, just over to this mark, and I've put some glue there. Okay. Don't be shy, nice big scoopy doll. But this piece now is going to be the top. Okay, so this is going to be the top. And all we're going to do next is take the big triangle, the whole thing with the dots on, and we're going to put it on top of that glue. Okay, now we're going to need to use our pushing fingers and we're going to hold the whole thing down. Now, as you can see, I'm going to turn mine sideways. When I push it down, the plate's going to go up in the air. That's fine. That doesn't matter. We're just going to do that and we're going to hold it down and we're going to hold this for a count of five, okay? So lots of fingers. We're not tapping, we're holding it down. Nice push. And I'm going to count to five. Are we ready? One. I'm going to move my hand. Two. 
Very good. Three, super job. Four, gosh, you guys are great at counting. And the last one is a big high. Five, yes. Now, look what happens. He's stuck. Very, very good. Super job. Anyone got any ideas? No? Whoa. Ooh, interesting, interesting. So, next job, right? Are we ready? We're going to bring in some of our pom poms, okay? So, what we're going to do is get out some of your pom poms. Now, the first job is we're going to look at our pom-poms and what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to try and find the biggest one, okay? Doesn't matter what color it is, we're looking for the biggest one. So mine happens to be, well, it's between the red one and the green one and I think it's probably the red one. I'm going to go with the red one. And what we're going to do is take the red one, put some glue on one side of it. Now, a big old dollop of glue on this one. Don't be shy with the glue. And stick it right in the middle of the plate, just like that. Smack bang in the middle, big dollop of glue, down he goes, okay? You all got one of them? Now, it gets trickier to lift these up, because some of these pom-poms are quite heavy, but basically, that's what we're after. But big red or yours might be green or yellow or orange or blue, but whichever is the biggest one that I gave you, pop them into the middle just like that. Good, right, are we ready? Right, from our little kit of bits, we're looking for this one. It's like a smiley face. Very good. And this one uh, is going, we're going to get some glue on one side. Again, the whole thing doesn't have to be covered. We can put a couple of dollops because when we push it down, the glue will spread out and that will be absolutely fine. So we're going to pop them down and this one is going to go underneath the nose. And we're going to push him down, tap, 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 push, push, push. Very, very good. Just like that. Again, if a bit of glue squirts out like mine just has, don't worry about it. It will all disappear and go away. It's absolutely fine. Right, are we ready? Super job, pause me if you need to. Right, next job. See these two white circles? Very good. So these are going to be part of his eyes. Anybody got any guess? Should we have a little guess and see what it is? Anybody know? Should we have a look? Oh, I heard someone. It is a silly Billy Clown. Should we have a look at him? Here he is, Mr. Clown. Very good. There is our clown. Fantastic. Should we leave him here so everyone can have a look at him? Very good. So we're going to finish him off uh, and we're going to get his eyes. So, first job, we're going to get these big white circles. And just like before, a little bit of glue on. And we're going to put one on top of his, on just on the top end of his. They're white on white, so they're a little bit tricky to see these. So I'm going to put them on first. So two eyes above his nose, on either side of his nose. Again, I'm going to stand up and show you guys where I put them. There you go. That's a bit better. So there's one there, and there's one there. Okay? And then right in the middle of those eyes, we're going to put his googly eyes. So those are his eye holders. Because uh, clowns have uh, put white makeup on. So we're going to peel off our eye and pop it. Now you guys can pop it into the middle or of those white circles. You can pop them anywhere you want, really. Um, I like to do them a bit wacky sometimes, so they're kind of a little bit, not quite this, in the center. They're a little bit off center because clowns are supposed to be a bit wacky and funny. And so there he is. Beautiful job. Fantastic. So if you guys need to pause me, pause me, that's absolutely fine. Um, but the next bit, uh, we're gonna we're not quite there, we've only two steps left to do. So the first thing we're gonna do, just to finish it off, is we're gonna on the top of his hat, we have a look on what I've got on the top of his hat, we've got our lovely feathers. So we're gonna get his feathers on. 
So all it needs, uh, you can put a little bit of glue on the very tippy tippy top top of his hat. So you can do it that way. You can get a little bit of glue on there. And then you can take some of your feathers and just literally tap them down on top, just like that, nothing too complex. The other way of doing it is take your feather and just dip him in the glue. So this is our pick, dip and stick. Um, and you should have a couple of feathers in there and just put, pop them on top. You can overlap them, that's absolutely fine. Give them a little tap down. There are his lovely feathers in his hat. And then the last piece, which is my favorite piece of building our clowns, um, is what we're doing is we're going to give him, we're going to use all of our pom-poms that are left, and we're going to fill up the space. It's kind of like the top of his hat and his hair. Okay? And so we're just going to take this one, and it's, it's at the point where the triangle meets the plate, and it looks a bit ugly, it looks a bit funny because it's not quite straight or it's not quite in the right place so we're going to hide that by taking our uh, pom-poms and gluing them down now i need a bit more glue so i'm just going to open up my baggie and squeeze out some glue now i'm going to squeeze out some glue on my paper but the other way you can do this is is, is with your with your squeezing bag if you want to, and this is especially for really small little people, is you can just squeeze the glue arch directly onto the area where you want to stick your pom-poms. Might be a little bit easier for you guys. Yeah? Um, and then get your spatula and just spread it out a little bit. Um, and don't be shy. Use up the glue because the pom-poms uh, take up quite a lot of glue. There, because they're quite fluffy, they soak it all up. And you just start putting on, you can put any sizes or any of the colors, and you just pop them on. Now, for our slightly uh, bigger people who are going to be doing using the pom pom spatula and the glue, same as before, you hold the pom pom in one hand, scoop with this one, put a good big dollop on, and pop him down in place, just like that. Now, they will take a little bit of time for these to dry. Of all of the things that we do, these are quite heavy. Um, and so all you do is you keep going, choosing your colors. Great game, um, big people, to play. You know, you can, for, for your young people who are really in that process of learning their colors, you can take out some uh, some primary colors, like, a, you know, a green, or a green and a red and a blue, and go, which is the green? Should we find the green, Pom Pom? And then we can have a game and see which one is the green one. So it's a really good game to play. Uh, uh, you can, with these pom-poms, you could do practice your counting as you go along and having some fun with counting. Uh, let's have a quick look at this, see how he's coming together. There you go, see he's looking much better already. Now I'm gonna fill up the space up here at the top. Um, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. You kind of just get in there and see what happens. And, Fill it all up with the pom poms in the spaces. That it's kind of like it's it's a bit like uh, like a a cover around his hat or hair coming out underneath his uh, underneath his hat. So you 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 can't get this wrong. It really doesn't matter where you put them. Even if you wanted to go crazy and give him a little beard or put a few extras on his cheeks. The great thing about crafting is there are no rules. It's completely up to you. This is your lovely piece of work for you guys to do the way that you guys want to do it. So just get them in there, fill them all up, and you don't even you don't have to use them all. Um, it's totally up to you. Maybe you like the look of it being a little bit uh, not quite a perfect clown, and that's absolutely fine. Again, the no rules. So I think I've got something left over, but I think we've got to leave it at that. But I think that looks pretty cool. And there he is, our lovely paper plate pom-pom clown. Fantastic job. Well done, you guys. Really good to have you with us this week. Um, sorry you couldn't make the lives, um, uh, but uh, we will be next week. We will be uh, week 11. 
Uh, if you can join us for the live, we are, I can give you a top tip now. We're going to be doing sand art next week, okay? So there he is. I'm going to leave you with a lovely shot of Mr. Clown. And have a lovely week, you guys. Well done. Don't forget to send us in all of your lovely pictures of your work that you've done. We love seeing them. And we'll see you all next week. Bye.